now the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Looks gorgeous out there on our Harrisburg Skycam as we look over the Susquehanna as we get closer to sunset. But looks are deceiving. You step outside, you're going to notice that chill that's out there along with the windy conditions. It has been a breezy day today and temperatures about 20 to 25 degrees cooler than this time yesterday. Right now, 56 in Harrisburg, dew points down to the 30s, but there it is. The sustained winds still at 15 miles per hour out of the north northwest and gusts are still in excess of 20 miles per hour across much of the valley right now 28 miles per hour in Lancaster still at 30 miles per hour in Lebanon skies are clearing but there is still the potential for isolated showers and some periods of drizzle up towards Lewistown State College and Seals Grove other than that skies will continue to clear and the winds will die down that's going to allow for conditions for some frost develop through the night tonight as the entire valley has a frost advisory it goes in effect at 2 a.m. and that's why we're making tonight an impact night because that could damage some sensitive plants that are still growing out there. So the clouds will fade, winds will diminish, temperatures in the lower 50s at sunset, lows tonight down to near 40 degrees. That's in the major cities. If you live out there in the country, also up in the mountains, you could see lows as chilly as the mid 30s. Then for tomorrow, we keep this chill around. Highs will only be in the mid 50s and it's going to be breezy throughout the day, but the winds will not be as strong as today. You can see here on the wind gust forecast for tomorrow, possibly wind gusts up near 20 miles per hour. They'll pick up a bit as we head on into Wednesday. Now I expect Tuesday to be in the 50s. I also expect Wednesday to be in the 50s. And the last time we did that, you have to head all the way back to early May. Here's a breakdown of that weather and health. The pollen count remains low, but the mole count is high. Air quality will be at a good level through the day tomorrow. Made it to 66 for a high today, but most people probably didn't feel that. That was right around 2 a.m. And the low is the current temperature now of 56 degrees at the airport. 58 for watching us in York and 57 in Lancaster. Air is chilly off to our north and to the west, already down to 49 in Williamsport, just 45 in Bradford. So clouds are thicker, a better chance for an isolated shower off to our north and to the west as strong upper level energy is moving across the Great Lakes, a deep cold pocket of air right now crossing over the region. May see an isolated shower tomorrow, but if you do find yourself under one of these showers, they're going to be few far between and not lasting very long, about 10 to 15 minutes. Heading into Wednesday, similar type of weather will be around as high pressure slowly builds in from the west and the winds will start to relax. But this cold pocket of air aloft in the atmosphere finally starts to exit the region as we head into Thursday into Friday and we find ourselves under a ridge of warmer air that builds back in from the south. So chilly the next couple of days, but there's that warmer weather as we head on into the weekend with highs back up to near 70 degrees. Not much rain in that forecast other than a slim chance of a shower for tomorrow. Next 10 days look like they're going to be dry and milder as we head into early next week.